It is an extraordinary sight. Exposed structures of ancient coral reef framed in an expanse of turquoise. The rock islands of Palau, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And beneath the surface, the profusion and variety of life is stunning. One of the highest rates of biodiversity on the planet. But the challenges are numerous. In amongst the jumble of islands, a series of marine lakes hold more wonders. This is Ungul Makato Lake. It is connected to the sea, but only through a series of small cracks and fissures in the rock. It's effectively isolated, a sealed ecosystem. And beneath the surface lies a unique subspecies. Golden jellyfish. They've evolved to harvest energy directly from sunlight. There are more than two million of them. And indeed, that's a significant reduction. In the past, there have been as many as 30 million in this lake but fluctuations in the weather have recently taken their toll. The biggest challenge that we face in terms of the jellyfish lake is uh, climate change. Very recently, within the past uh, year and a half to two years, uh, the, the golden jellyfish that uh, the site is famous for around the world completely disappeared. Because of climate change, the salinity of the lake uh, rose, so the temperature of the water increased. These rangers are on the lookout for illegal fishing in protected so-called no-take zones implemented to try and conserve dwindling fish species along the coast. For the commercial fishermen that uh, illegal fish here, it's usually a big ship's mothership, so it's everything from giant clams to sea urchins to sea cucumbers to fish. And from next year, the marine protected area will be massively extended into the open ocean. But come uh, 2020, all these vessels will all, can only be fishing that 20% of the water. And, and the reason for that is that we want to make sure that 80% of no take to ensure the sustainability of this important resource. We're seeing that when we do um, uh, give area, a refuge, a, a conservation area, you can see as five times as much fish in, in an area that's open. There is another ultimately overriding concern not just on Palau, but for the two million islanders across the Pacific, sea level rise. Ken Zero has lived here for decades, and he says full moon tides are getting higher and higher, and that can have a devastating effect. This is the first time I've seen this uh, kind of uh, uh, high tide coming in. It's hard because you have to find another place to move to, and if you don't have the money to build a, a new house, then you won't be able to do that. So pretty People are pretty much a stock. The wonders of this part of the Pacific are many, but so too are the pressures. Palau is standing tough when it comes to environmental protections, but its people are going to need all the resolve they can muster in the coming years. Nick Clark, Al Jazeera, Palau.